In the era of time to market, implementing a faster design cycle is the key to fostering innovation and technological evolution. Typically, with RTL design, you must determine the exact sequence of the relevant operations and how the functional units, such as adders, multipliers, etc., will be shared and deployed. However, Stratus High-Level Synthesis, or Stratus HLS, is a product that helps achieve a quicker design cycle than the handwritten RTL flow. Stratus HLS performs behavioral synthesis of an untimed algorithm from an abstract-level description and generates a Verilog RTL description. The process starts from a high-level abstraction of an algorithm described in System C. Further, it elaborates, optimizes, and schedules the algorithm description to create a data path and control logic based on the specified technology library and other synthesis constraints. Other features include exploration of multiple architectures for the same algorithm to achieve better throughput, power, and area requirements. This enables the user to focus on architectures that provide better quality of results. The salient point is that Stratus HLS's capabilities help achieve a faster development time than traditional RTL flow. The target audience for Stratus HLS usage are design and system architects and design and software engineers with a background in object-oriented modeling and procedural coding styles. The untimed System C model, which contains the algorithm's behavioral description, is one of the inputs to Stratus HLS. The technology libraries, synthesis directives, and design constraints are the additional inputs required to generate the Verilog RTL from the untimed algorithm description. Stratus HLS generates an optimized Verilog RTL with the technology library according to the user's specifications. The synthesis directives help generate different architectures for the same system C source code. Numerous synthesis directives are available as part of Stratus HLS, allowing users to tweak the behavior without modifying the source code. This dramatically reduces the time for RTL development. It is important to note that the same test bench used to verify the functional accuracy of the System C behavioral model can be reused to verify the generated Verilog RTL. Stratus comes with integration scripts that enable you to run simulations using the Cadence Exilium platform or other third-party simulation tools to verify functional equivalence. It also integrates multiple EDA tools intended to perform linting checks, equivalence checks, coverage analysis, logic synthesis, power estimation, etc. Stratus HLS generates logs and reports at every flow stage, has hooks to debug further, and allows users to fix any issues. Let's look at the expectations of what high-level synthesis does when starting a project. Developing a design feature by feature is common until the feature is complete. At this point, often, there might be a target mismatch of area and power and then proceeding with optimization to fix the area and power numbers as per requirement, which takes a considerable amount of time. With high-level synthesis, you usually quickly get the feature to a complete stage since the code is much easier to write due to abstraction. It is vital to ensure that the behavioral model built using System C is feature complete by checking its functionality using any test bench. Stratus HLS is then run on the functionally correct behavioral model, which helps the designer to work on the various optimizations and architectural models. However, very often, the initial area is much higher than your experience with RTL design. Sometimes, this causes panic for people new to the HLS flow. The critical factor to consider is that the slope of the curve is steep in both directions, allowing very fast convergence on your targets. In traditional RTL design, the process is more iterative. With Stratus HLS, the area, latency, and power target converge substantially faster. Let us look at the advantages of using Stratus HLS from a designer's perspective. 
The goal of a design engineer is to generate a baseline RTL and verify it for functional accuracy. High-level synthesis provides features for multiple simulation configurations that mix System C and RTL. It also helps the designers to create various microarchitectural configurations for individual modules to aid design exploration and choose the architecture best suited for the specification intended and select the design based on the PPA targets that fits your requirement. From a verification engineer perspective, debugging for design issues can be started earlier, since the test bench developed can be used to verify both System C and RTL models. The test bench is initially used to verify the System C behavioral model before running high level synthesis, followed by the generated Verilog RTL. Functional issues seen early in the design process take less time and effort to fix which is significant in successful project execution as Stratus HLS produces Verilog wrappers to encapsulate the generated Verilog RTL with the verification environment downstream. In conclusion, by beginning with a high-level algorithm described in System C, you can use Stratus HLS tool to automatically create a data path and control logic using the technology library specified and specifying the user-specific synthesis directives and attributes to create a synthesizable Verilog RTL. The RTL design can be generated for multiple implementations of the algorithm using Stratus HLS's exploration feature to achieve the latency, area, and power targets intended. It is also important to note the concept of unified verification, where in there is a single test bench that is created to verify the System C behavioral model, synthesized RTL model, and the Verilog RTL after generation.